Yes, exactly. Um, we, I was in Okuma in uh, October last year, and radiation levels throughout the city are still extremely high. However, it's uh, pretty mixed. There are some small areas where radiation levels are much lower. Um, and the small area of Kuma will be opened up for return of the population in theory. But to get there, people will have to travel through every day, travel through uh, highly contaminated areas. And they will be like confined in small islands that are decontaminated, where radiation levels are lower but the surroundings are still very dangerous. And this is not a practical way. You cannot live in such a way. And that is actually what we are accusing the government of, that they are doing this for political reasons, that they want a showcase, uh, and that they are abusing people, pushing back people to those areas to show that things are going back to normal, which is not at mm. all the case. Well, the, the Japanese government, of course, points to its uh, radiation uh, measurements that seem to show, as you say, that 40% of Akuma is now safe uh, for residents to, to permanently return uh, to. Now, a lot was made uh, in the immediate aftermath of the Fukushima disaster uh, of the Japanese changing the way that they measured radiation. Do you think that is still a problem? It's not so much the way they measure the radiation. It's about changing especially the most important problem is changing the standards. And so also the United Nations Special Rapporteur to the General Assembly has accused Japan um, of raising these standards by a factor 20. And so what was considered safe before the accident is now, they now raised this level 20 times in order to be able to push those people back to those areas and to tell them, OK, 20 times more is also safe, which is not mm. at all the case. And Mr. that is actually very misleading. Very, very quickly, I'd like to, to ask you what you would like to see happen in, in that area. Well, actually, Greenpeace has been working also together with farmers and in areas where it is safe to live in Fukushima prefecture and where actually it is also safe to produce food. And we want the government to concentrate their efforts on those areas to improve the living situation of those citizens. But mm -hmm. here we are talking about an extremely high contaminated area and it is actually purely for political reasons to push people back there and they don't have a safe way to live there. All right. And this okay. has to stop. Put the resources oh. where they're needed. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Jan van der Putte, there from Greenpeace. Still to come here.